books in libraries, books collected with deliberation, tended, arranged, pre present in physical mass, give a concrete picture of our collective relation to knowledge. This might be obvious, but it bears repeating. That a book exists in a library means something. It means it has earned its way into print through a prescribed process and was deemed worthy according to the selection criteria of the library, a double gatekeeping process. Books assembled on shelves in classified order testify to the breadth of a subject area and offer visual evidence of accumulation over time. They visually enforce the understanding that knowledge is cumulative. Classification itself references a consensual understanding about scholarly interrelation. It is not arbitrary. Taken together, these realities project the material importance, the outward reality of scholarship, of what might be called the structure of knowledge. Most of us have grown up in the book culture, and all of this is familiar to the point of invisibility. But if we take it all away, and if we imagine instead taking our place in a former library, become information center, an environment of screens and databases, we might get an inkling of what I meant earlier by a paradigm shift. Think of the student who has more or less grown up in our electronic culture, who already uses books differently, far more sparingly, than those in the generation ahead of him did, whose reflexes are honed to commands, links, data searches. Imagine this student placed now in an environment stripped of books, which offers only the power of the technology and the near infinity of data within keystroke reach. Where does she find her primary idea of context, of the principles of relatedness? What paradigm of knowledge does she hold and by what sanction does she hold it? The professor's syllabus, the citation ranking, on a screen where all data are created seemingly equal, where does she get her idea of authority? What is her developing picture of knowledge and its many branches? I don't want to necessarily insist that the slowly evolved paradigm we have held and still, if less firmly, hold is the best or the ideal. I just want to ask what might be the consequences of its erosion? What would it be replaced by?